Hey guys, McJeffries here and welcome back to Football Manager The Basics. Last episode we had a rather boring one all draw with Crew, which I said was quite disappointing considering um well, considering we should have done a lot better, and we actually beat Crew in the very game before, uh which wasn't on camera, it was a league match that I played just before I started recording the last episode. And we won it, I think it was two or three nil. So something wasn't quite right there. We missed out a little bit. The good news though. Um, well, we have some more bad news, I suppose. Let's start with that. We have a couple of injuries. Mambo's injured. Um, and the squad is starting to look a little bit thinner now because we are um, releasing and selling players. For example, um, Wade Elliott has now gone. Uh, Ball, I think, has gone. Yep, looks like Ball's gone. Who else have we got on the unwanted list? McMenamin and James. Well, no one seems to want them at the moment, so uh, we're going to keep offering them. See if anyone picks up. Uh, Blair and Ashton are wanted, so let's see if we can get rid of Blair. We'll offer him for nothing. We we'll just want 10% of the next sale. Uh, and Ashton as well. Again, we'll offer him for nothing and try and get 10% of the next sale, although I have a feeling he'll be released. We'll miss out on that one. League-wise, we are 6th. Um, Wage-wise, we are £1,800 a week under budget. We're trying to get this guy on loan. Uh, forgive me while I try and pronounce his name. Milos. Milos. Uh, Velkovic. Velkovic. Along those lines. Uh, I might just call him Milos for the sake of being able to say it nice and quick. If we go on this list here, which is the free agents list. You can see there's players here like Mikel Alonso, who's a pretty decent player. Jermaine Johnson, um, George McCartney, ex West Ham, Martin Taylor, Eric Jemba Jemba, still can't get over that name, David Cottrell, Ishmael Miller, all good players. Go further down the list, you've got players like Hayden Mullins, Alan Lee, who apparently is still connected to Ipswich somehow, but he's old, 36 years old, so he's not the most, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, viable, not the most viable option. Phil Barsley, though, is a wing-back, perhaps. Um, we don't need a new goalkeeper. Paul Gallagher. Eh, I sort of went cold on him during my um, You Don't Want Anything With Kids series. Who else? We need someone who's quite young. We definitely need to inject our squad with fresh talent. I think that's one of our problems now, is we've become a, a little bit predictable. Teams have started sussing us out. Uh, oh, Sam Hutchinson. Now, he's pretty good. Let's see what he... Whoa. He wants a lot in the wages. Let's see if we can uh, talk him down a little bit from that. We'll aim for 2,500. You see, he's, he's slowly coming to terms. 2,600? Oh, he'll accept that. Okay, that's not a bad deal. He's got good cover for defence. Um, can play all along the back. He's he's like Webster. And talking of Webster, he's very very unlucky. Is Adam Webster? He has. Well, he made a mistake in the uh, the last episode against um, Crew. He kicked the ball off the defender and it went. Uh, not off the defender, off the opposition player and it went in. Uh, the very next game, which was a league game against Portsmouth, he did the very same thing. He went to clear it, kicked it straight into the striker. And it went in. Which meant we ended up with a one-all draw. Whereas in actual fact, we could have won. So I'm a little bit disappointed. But again, I can't blame him. Because he didn't really do anything wrong. Um, I just realised we started quite a long way down the list. Yeah, we started down here on the list. So actually, there's a lot more players available than I realised. Reese Wabara, you might remember him. We had him um, on trial in pre-season. Good young player. We're not going to be able to sign him on those wages. Let's see if he'll accept a thousand, one thousand one hundred pound a week. Uh, he wants one thousand eight hundred. Let's see if he'll accept this. Now he wants one thousand seven hundred. As long as we can get rid of the yearly wage rise, we should be able to talk him into it. There you go. He's gone down to one thousand six hundred. Stayed on one thousand six hundred. Now he's gone down to one thousand five hundred. We're getting close. Ah, this is his final offer. So let's take out that one and see if he accepts. Nope, he's rejected. Okay, that's his loss. 
That is entirely his loss. Um, we've got other players here like David Edwards. Good player. Razak Nuhu. Now again, interesting. Can play wing back or full backs. Hmm. Will he accept that? No. Will he accept that? No. Will he accept that? No. Can we offer him a wage after? Yes, we can. Now he looks like a very good player, so it'd be good to get him in if we can. It doesn't look like he's going to play ball either. Nope. Well, let's offer him an ultimatum. And he's rejected it. Okay, fair enough. We need to sell some players, though, really. Uh, we could then bring in decent players like this. Alex Nimley. Uh, Milan Laukovic, who's a very, very good young player. Again, he's on the, the who to buy list, I'd say. And the way we're going to do this is players who are over 30. So David James, we're actually trying to get rid of. I'm guessing he won't accept... No, he won't accept a mutual termination, so we'll just release him on a free. Um, Jody Morris. See, I'd, I'd kind of like to keep hold of him, but I'll see if he'll accept lower wages. Because we can't really afford his wages. Let's see if he'll accept that. Nope. Uh, I guess I can transfer list him. I, I, in an ideal world, though, I don't want to get rid of him because... He's been really, really good for us. He's a really good set-piece taker. Uh, we're just going to try and mutually terminate McMenamin's contract. He won't play, so we'll do that. Um, Ashton, we're still trying to get rid of. Again, I think we'll add him to the uh, sell or release list. So there he is. Um, Michele Laterwood. He's actually a player I haven't even mentioned yet. We signed him. £1,200 a week. If you look at his rating, you can see why we signed him. He's a very, very good midfielder. Ex-Reading uh, and QPR, I believe, before that. Now, Mark Roberts. He is our best defender. I've said this before. He keeps rejecting a new contract. He's on £3,800 a week. And there are teams who want him. So I'm going to try and offer him for sale for £300,000. Or £350,000 with a 25% sell on and a buyback price of 105,000 and if a team bites then we'll consider selling him because we've got plenty of centre backs now so we can replace him Hughes is going nowhere despite the fact that he's re rejecting a new contract as well he's still below 30 he's still a very very good player he's going nowhere O'Connor same thing except he's got a couple of years left on his deal I think same with Hamer um, he's definitely going nowhere. He's one of our best players. James Bailey. Yeah, I suppose, again, he's not really going anywhere. Matty Blair, though. Now, he is going somewhere. He's going on the uh, the sell or release list. Um, Musa, not going anywhere. Arnold. I kind of expect more from him, but he's on so little wages anyway. It wouldn't be that much of a difference if he left, so he's going to stay. McLaughlin. Again, he's going to stay. Good player. Henderson. Um... £2,600 a week. How good has he been for us? Well, how good How good is he in terms of this? Decent player. He could become a good championship central midfielder. Um, average rating 6 points. Let's, let's tell you what. Let's offer him for 250000 with a 25% sell-on. See if anyone bites on that one as well. Uh, Santangelo, we're going to offer him for loan till the end of the season 100% wages see if anyone bites on that one Galifuaco we've tried to offer on loan but no one's interested we'll put him on the development list uh, Lawrence going nowhere Islamovic going nowhere Islamovic and Rossi have just signed new deals incidentally so uh, I think they've extended their contracts by a year same with Webster because they were all running out at the end of this season so I've done it for another season uh, Payeth He's just starting to come good, so he's not going to go anywhere either. But let's let's see if some of these players, you know, see if any bids come in for them. Because if they do come in, then I'm not going to stand in their way. Especially with if they're big money bids, like with Roberts. I'm definitely not going to stand in the way of that one. Right, James has been given a free transfer. McMenamin's been given a free transfer. Our bid for Milos has been accepted. 
Uh, that's Keelan Lavery. No offers for three players. Morris, Henderson and Santangelo. Ah, but offer has come in for Ashton. No, I reject. Uh, offers made for Blair. Why has that one been rejected? I don't know. Is he on the uh, seller release list? There we go. Yeah. He must be. Rangers have offered a contract to... Oh dear, no, 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 no. We can't let him go for nothing. Oh, hell no. That's going to be horrible. If... If he leaves on a free transfer at the end of the season, that is going to be absolutely horrific. Oh, man, I didn't even think of that. Hmm. On a, another sad note, Milos's deal, he decided to go to Bolton instead, but Bolton have now pulled out, so we could still sign him. Crew, that's our next match. That's the uh, FA Cup replay. I will be showing that on camera. Uh, Blair. Now, why is he being problematic? Let's see if I can just... Not set for release. Release on a free. That's what I wanted to do. Cause look, look at the wages. Look at that. That is a massive number. So we can actually try and sign players like... Where's he gone? Oh, there. Lalkovic. Because that would be a good signing. Let's see if he'll play ball. Oh, yeah. We should be able to get him for this. I imagine he'll ask for... Yeah, he'll ask for a lot. <clears throat> if we take that out, try and lower this to, say, 2,500. Okay. He's just gone back to the original number again. Two and a half thousand. Two and a half thousand. Come on. Come on, Milan. So close. Come on. 2,800. We're so close. 2,700. I'm willing to meet him. If he comes down to 2,600, I'll meet him there. There we go. That's kind of how, how you negotiate a decent deal. And if he makes one international appearance, it goes up to 3,400, which is probably going to bankrupt us. But what can you do? Right, there's Alex Nimley as well. Another good player who I'm interested in signing. Again, ridiculous wage. Oh, dear. Wow, they're being really strict on the wage structure now. We're going to have to try and get rid of some more players, I think. Otherwise, we're not going to be able to sign anyone else. Didn't see that coming. Let's see if we can release a couple more players, though, shall we? I'm gutted about Roberts. I'm hoping that we can try and uh, negotiate a deal for him. Like a transfer fee. Maybe if I lower this down to... to oops. 250,000. I really didn't want to see him go. And who's this? Is this Sunderland? Sunderland want to sign Mark Roberts. Wow, I did not see that one coming either. Let's see if they sign him, though. Oh, Blair's gone. So that's gone up to 600, uh, 6,000 now. Why are we trying to sign Caleb Folan? No. No, we're not trying to sign Caleb Folan. That's my director of football being uh, a bit mischievous, I think. Now, look, Jody Morris is wanted. Let's see if we'll offer him for zero. See if someone will take him then.
Thank you.